Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lee from Your Vet Online and today Mordecai and I are going to be talking to you all about reverse sneezing. Now as you can see Mordecai's a little bit excited this morning. He's just got out of bed, we've been for a quick little walk but now uh, he's not that quiet. But anyways, now you might have seen our previous YouTube video on reverse sneezing and what I wanted to do in this video is actually go through why dogs reverse sneeze, what you can do to stop it if it happens, and also how you can potentially prevent it in the future. So listen on up. And, oh, and as per usual, if you love this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe by that little little button down below and hit the little bell so that you get notifications whenever we publish a new video. Okay guys, let's get right to it. So reverse sneezing in dogs can be alarming if you've never experienced it before. I know the first time I heard Mordecai have one episode, it was pretty freaky. But luckily, it's not as bad as it all sounds. It occurs most, well, much more frequently in dogs than what we hear in cats, but cats can also reverse sneeze. Okay, a reverse sneeze is basically a backwards sneeze, and it can occur in basically when the dog's soft palate becomes irritated. You might want to have a look at this little picture I've put here. The irritation that causes a soft palate to spasm. And then what happens is because of that, the trachea all narrows and the dog will extend its neck as if they're trying to expand their chest to breathe. But then the narrow trachea does not allow them to inhale a full breath of air. And that's when you'll see that the dog starts to forcefully inhale through their nose, which then causes the dog to backwards sneeze. I've got a nice little video that you can watch just here. This was Mordecai yesterday. That was Mordecai. So reverse sneezing sounds like the dog is actually inhaling their sneezes. Hence the name reverse sneezing. It's such a loud snorting noise and I often say, and a whole lot of vets will always say, is it sounds a little bit like a goose honking. <coughs> You'll have to agree, it does sound like that. <laughs> the first few episodes of reverse sneezing that a dog has can be really scary if you've never heard it before. And that's why it's always best to have your dog evaluated by a vet to determine if it's simply a reverse sneeze or if it's something more concerning like a cough or it's choking. And of course, if your dog ever goes blue or collapses, please get to the vet straight away. If possible, it's really good idea to take a video of the episode. And that means you can show your vet and they can see exactly what's going on. And it's really handy if you've got an online vet because you can share that video with them and it might save you a trip to the vet. So all these bouts of reverse sneezing in dogs usually only last about 30 seconds or less. But of course they always sound like they're going on for a whole lot longer. Why do dogs sneeze, reverse sneeze? Basically, it's all those same reasons that we cough or we, you know, sneeze ourselves. So it's basically to expel an irritant. A regular sneeze will get rid of an irritant that's in the nose, nasal cavity. Coughing, usually it's because it's something further down. And the reverse sneeze is because that irritant is usually located around that nasopharynx area and that's exactly where the soft palate is. Some possible causes of irritation, um, you going, sit down here. Um, some possible causes of irritation to the soft palate that can cause these reverse sneezes are things like allergies, household products like perfume, cleaning products, air fresheners, all those sorts of things. Sometimes it can happen if you've got them on a leash and attached to a collar and you're you're pulling a little bit much and maybe there's overexcitement. Um, 
occasionally it's when exercise there's exercise intolerance and occasionally it's actually when there's something in the back of the throat so like a foreign body and it might have got stuck down the back of the nasopharynx area um, these little guys little french bulldogs they do a lot of reverse sneezing and the th reason why they do is because they've got an elongated soft palate check out our videos about that because we've got some videos about what happens with these guys and you can see what we mean when we're talking about that also sometimes just eating and drinking can cause it so what do we do well it doesn't require any medication and it's a pretty benign problem as long as it's not too frequent and if you've ne dogs never had an episode before um, pretty much get in touch with it, one of us you know at the on your vet online and we can help you decide whether it's something that needs to have more um, investigation but generally speaking it's not something we do um, a lot with However, if the episodes are becoming more frequent or more severe, especially if you've got a French Bulldog or another dog with a squishy face nose, then it would be a good idea to um, have your dog seen to. Sometimes we might actually need to do put the dog under anaesthetic and check in behind that nasopharynx and behind the soft palate and just check that there's nothing up there like a little blade of grass or something like that. One of the reasons why I've got Mordecai here is because I wanted to show you how we stop a reverse sneeze when it's happening. So generally speaking these guys you can put your hand in front of their nose and you know so you can block off their nasal packet passage. I don't like doing that too much but the idea is if you hold off their nostrils then of course they're going to want to breathe and they struggle a little bit and it forces them to actually swallow. The best thing I do, and if your dog is a friendly dog, is actually just put your finger in the side of their mouth. And when you have do that, you can see he's swallowing. And you may just give a little bit of a massage, massage here, but they putting your finger in there just encourages them, them to swallow. And when they swallow, then of course it flips the soft palate and it repositions itself and hopefully that's enough to cause, um, it, it, or not cause, but to make them stop sneezing, doing this reverse sneeze. All right then guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you Mordecai for helping. Wasn't he a good helper? <laughs> but if you've got any questions about reverse sneezing, please pop them down below. And as usual, make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this. Now, if you've got questions, as I said, pop them down below and I'll answer them. If you want to send us a video of your dog reverse sneezing, I'll put the link below for you to do that. And our vets can help you decide what you might need to do if your dog's doing that. All right then, guys. Mr. Mordecai looks like he wants to go and have a little sleep now. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now. Say goodbye, Mordecai. You need to say goodbye? You just want to eat my hands. You want to eat my hands. Yes. <laughs> All right then, catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you, Mordecai.